What's up YouTube? Gonna show you a video of how to kill the Fnatic of Crota, the antiquated boss for week 2 and other weeks to come, because I'm sure they're not gonna release a new boss every week, although that'd be pretty cool if they did. So the only way to damage this guy is to make him kneel down and hit him with the sword relic, which we're about to get from this knight. By the way, the raid fusion rifle, one of the best weapons I've ever used in Destiny, really effective at killing pretty much anything. So now I got the relic, I need all my bros here to make him kneel down by taking the shield down. And then I hit him. If you get close, like if you have one of your friends say, oh he's almost down. And just run in there as soon as he kneels down, you can get three hits on him rather than two. Which makes a big difference. Usually you can get him to go down twice per relic. And that is ideal because then you can take him down pretty quick. Usually in like three times. Because you only have the relic for so long as you see it just disappeared. When he gets that orange aura shit, it means you can't damage him at all. He gets that for a bit after he gets up. And since you can only hurt him with the relic, you gotta wait for the knight to show back up, which he's spawning in the middle right now. I always take out that guy first because he's on the side that I'm gonna run up with the relic. If I'm just planning ahead. People have them try to take out the wizards on the side while other people try to take out the knight. Now I grab the relic and we'll do the same thing over again. You can see his shield, like the gray bar over his health bar. You probably saw it earlier while I was hitting him. You might see it a little after here. It's easier to see because his health is lower now. There, his health is... Just gotta almost kill him. There's his shield, right above the health bar there. And that orange means he just got his whole shield back too. So we won't get a chance to bring it down again here because the sword's about to disappear. And there it goes. But it's kind of a blessing because now I'm going to have my friend Crawley pick up the relics. You can see it from the DPS guy's point of view. Kind of give you the full range of effect. Now I'm going to try and do a video tutorial like this for every week they add a new boss. And next week there's some Krugor guy. At least that's what I read somewhere. So I'll show a tutorial of how to beat him as soon as we figure it out. So you can all farm the Court of Oryx, just like we do. So this time we're going to take him out. By the way, if the Relic guy drops the sword, somebody else can pick it up, but you gotta be quick or it'll disappear. So now Crowley's got it. I like to, we know we just need one more swing on him, so I'm not going to go in DPS him right away. This is also the Raid Scout Rifle, which I got not too long before doing this. Actually, if you want to see how I kill orcs, because it took us quite some time, then that video is on my channel as well. Boom, and now he's down. He's going to finish him off. That's all I really wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm not telling you again What you need is just a slap around to make everything stop and kill the fall when you come back.